Hi, my name is Ryan. <clears throat> um, what brought me to City Church, or I should say I'd been struggling with act active addiction for over 10 years. Um, I started off with doing prescription medication and then led into a methamphetamine. Um, I grew up wondering <clears throat> why I wasn't good enough um, where my biological father was. Uh, I grew up uh, with a half brother, um, always felt like I had to live up to his expectations. Uh, my aunt raised me for a lot of the years. Um, I spent my time over there. Um, a few of the things that uh, I struggled with was abandonment, um, I was molested, um, self, I guess, self-acceptance, self-worth. Um, and so my teenage years until I was 28, I was, um, struggling in school, straight F's. Um, I was, uh, ended up dropping out of, um, playing varsity football. I, um, I don't know, I was lost and... So I spent many years running away, trying to escape the pain. Um, I didn't know how to live with myself. I ran away from my problems. Um, I eventually got arrested, um, which led to quite a few years of incarceration, in and out. Um, I, I, I struggled and made broken promises throughout my incarcerations, telling myself and lying to myself that I would proceed to, you know, to not live this lifestyle anymore. Um, and at the end of the day, I was just lying to myself. I was lying to my family. During the course of the years, <clears throat> I tried to get clean by going to Narcotics Anonymous. Um, and eventually, like, it just became white knuckling. Um, my, uh, my self-worth and my abandonment issues became greater and greater. Mm. Shortly before coming to City Church, I had eight months clean. I ended up relapsing um, because of uh, self-worth, um, misunderstanding, not being able to communicate. In which I went on the run pretty much. My significant other that I'm dating ended up getting a hold of Pastor Scott, um, in which I then contacted. I watched all of my so called friends disappear um, throughout my, my, my term of using, and uh, I, I made a conscious decision to come to City Church rather than to go back to incarceration. I ended up signing the papers to commit to a year-long program. Um, since being in this program, I've really dug deep in, in to my core values. I've really like taken a look at like what has been harboring inside of me over the past years. Um, I looked at my abandonment issues with my father. Um, although I've had a stepfather every day in my life, like I resented him. Since being in City Church and working a 12-step uh, Celebrate Recovery program, I've been able to make an amends to my stepfather in which I placed blame and guilt because of, I don't know, I guess that I, I just didn't feel like I was um, accepted or, or, or worthy. Um, since being at City Church, I've got my son back in my life. Um, that my significant other has come back and, and um, been able to ex share this experience with me. Uh, my family is, is active in my life today. They come up here and visit. They're concerned about what I'm learning. And, and so since being at City Church, I've been able to communicate my feelings. I've been able to um, open up and speak truth. Um, I've 
really grown a connection with my relationship with God. Also, I've learned to be still in the situations and know that God is there with me consistently, um, which has allowed me to process my feelings and to think before I react and which controls behaviors. Since being at City Church, I, I have long-term goals now. Um, I want a family. I want, I, want, I want my actions throughout life to be lovable actions. I just want to thank City Church for the opportunity that Pastor Scott has allowed me to come here with a roof over my head to really buckle down and have the opportunity to receive the wisdom and knowledge through the Word of God. So I just want to thank City Church.